It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and I am at KRC Rock in San Marcos, the great mothership of all rock yards to pull the materials for my backyard project. And first things first, ladies, not only is this air conditioned, but check this out. Look how clean these bathrooms are, right? Flowers, so impressive. I know Greg's very impressed. He's never seen a clean bathroom except at home. Um, so nice clean bathrooms, air conditioned showroom. Um, they do it all here too. You know, it's, they're not just about boulders. Um, if you've got any interest in doing any outdoor projects at all, this is the place to come. Check out the fire glass. Boom. I pulled some of the sky blue today. Uh, decided that I'm going to do a undersea coral reef vibed garden um, in my backyard because that's always been my absolute favorite thing to do. So, you know, fire glass is an important part of that. And since I'm going with the blue, um, blue themed, I thought that that would be the perfect choice. But man, they've got every color under the sun here. Um, outside you know you can get some inspiration here they've got a few really beautiful recirculating pondless waterfalls to look at and then you know all of their rock choices are on display in addition to you know if you look down on the ground you know they've got flagstones they've got pavers um, look at this gorgeous creature water feature uh, with all the black fire glass at the base you know it's just really a fun destination it's a fun place to come and check out all of the wall treatments the coping look at this all the different flagstone options down here more boulders rocks and pebbles all clearly marked with prices and sizes and types Oh my gosh, I never noticed this before. Look at the mosaics on this outdoor kitchen under the palupa. That's beautiful. I wonder who did those. That's gorgeous. I love that. And I'm not sure what is happening in here. Um, yeah, obviously going to be another something. Another something, something. Very, very exciting. And... Yeah, you know, just more options. This is another really cool option for if you're looking for some, you know, to do some privacy um, as opposed to working lattice. with, you know, lattice. Um, I think these are really, really beautiful. Um, yeah. What are these called again? Uh, Pacific Beach has these. The, oh uh, man, help me out guys in the comments. The, the rubble inside the wire cages for retention. There's a name for it. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I mean, there is just something for everybody to see here. Look at all of the beautiful rocks and stones okay then over here oh yeah maybe we should look at the basalts one of my favorite go-to's for water features in my succulent garden are the basalt fountains basically these are just boulders that have been cored out um and i just I, I mean they're magnificent there are no two that are the same and i think it's just a really really wonderful organic looking water water feature love working with the basalts okay what um so today, let me show you what I picked out. I 
I'm going to be taking all of the rest of the blue ice because this is something they don't often have and I'm just taking advantage of the fact that they've got a little, I'm taking it. Uh, this is called Utah Ice. I've already pulled out the pieces that I want. It's very coral reef looking. Really, really gorgeous stuff. They have mostly, you know, rubbly size. So I pulled out the best looking pieces there. And then this is rose quartz. Also, always loved this. So I pulled out six uh, rubble sized pieces of rose quartz to take with me. And it would not be a coral reef without pot rocks. So we cherry picked out a dozen of these pot rocks and you can see that right now they've got a really great selection of them. This is something they don't always have either. So I'm gonna get a dozen of these and I'm getting three of the turquoise three pretty significant sized pieces of this turquoise, which I have never worked with before. So I'm very, very, very excited about this. And then they've got over here, you can see these baskets of the burgundy and the black lava boulders. 12 of each of those are going home with me today as well. So we're also going to need to pull some flagstone I have a really cool idea for the flower beds next to the house that's going to be incorporating some flagstone, but we're not going to get that today. We've also got two yards of soil to haul, so wait, wait, wait. Um, but we're only 10 minutes from San Marcos now, so this is exciting. You know, we don't have to drive an hour and a half to get here anymore. So, you know, yes, it can be a little intimidating when you come in because there is so much to choose from. But like with anything else, just pick, go where you're drawn, uh, look at what you like, and then ask questions. See all these guys in the blue shirts? Super sweet and very, very helpful. So, yeah, they're very sweet. Wow, now that's a stand-up piece. Okay, we got the guys working over here. Yeah, check it out. They've got the black uh, loaded up. They've got the burgundy loaded up. They've got the pot rocks loaded up. So that's pretty much the heavy lifting, right? Now it's just a question of getting my smaller rocks and we will be ready to rumble. Um, Greg got the irrigation all dialed in in one section of the backyard today. So we'll be able to start tomorrow with boulders and soil I really want to get my plants in the ground the ones that I brought over bare root so that should happen this weekend I am so so excited about that and so eager for you to see how this coral reef is going to go in I'm going to be also looking to curate a phenomenal piece of driftwood for this uh, for this installation oh man there's just so many things we can do with this guys so excited so uh, be inspired and be sure and tune in tomorrow as the bones begin to take shape in the new vista coral reef this has been laura eubanks of design for serenity at krc rock in san marcus with your succulent tip of the day bye guys